making a pretty decent run today, so hopefully it works out. Try and hit some stuff in between if the waves are too bad. But yeah, it's gonna be an interesting day for sure. Last year, glass calm every day. Could run 35 miles wide open. This year it might take, I don't know how long it's gonna take me to get to my starting spot. It could take two hours, it could take an hour. Uh, it all depends on exactly which direction the wind's coming from and which sections are worse than others. So I play, it's gonna play a huge part in decision making today because you know, in reality, I could only have three or four hours to actually fish. So we'll see what happens, but uh, it's my decision to run where we're running and that's where I think I can do well. So we're gonna try and make it happen. It's not 28 pounds, but 24 pounds, you know, on a place like this, especially the way that it was fishing in practice for me, I'll take it. Uh, you know, I wasn't on the, the mega school that I was on last time, but I'm catching some fish and hopefully tomorrow I can catch some big ones and I'll slide back up the leaderboard. Looking forward to seeing it happen. I never thought it Well, if you're going to go all the way out there, you might as well go to here. Okay. This is where the guys caught them really good. Like out on this shit. Oh, today? No, last year. Okay. Skyler, how was your day? <laughs> well, I puked more than I caught. I puked more times than the amount of bass I caught, which is a lot. So, was not good. I caught 12 pounds. And now I'm trying to get some juice from Jay. Jeez. Seems uh, like he's, uh, this is supposed to be the lucky cabin, but I think I got mold poisoning or something from it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, up <to> there. <laughs> It was, not it was supposed to be the lucky cabin, too. It was lucky for you guys. It's not lucky. I guess you just weren't staying in the right bedroom. I don't know. It's <laughs> yeah, the one that's not fishing is staying in the bedroom. The, Ricky had the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is the lucky bedroom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Quite literally. <laughs> you know, I heard that you were saying that you didn't. It was like, it was like just the other day. Oh, what are you saying? Uh, it wasn't cooler, was it? I'd imagine. I'd imagine. <laughs> <laughs> the key Alex Redwine key phrase. Well, I'd imagine those smallies will be in the same spot <laughs> as yesterday. I'd imagine. I think I'll need 17 pounds tomorrow to make the cut. I mean, I'd imagine. <laughs> That's literally what he says every time. 
so we had 24 pounds today. It was a good day until I got into the weigh-in. And I'm not even sitting in the top 10 with 24 pounds. You had 23, 14. 15. One ounce. One ounce. One. He had 23, 14. Don't let him tell you that he caught 24 pounds. 24, 15. 23, 15. And I had a small, he poop out a crayfish like this long. So I had 24 pounds, basically. 23, 15. I just say 24 because it's shorter. I don't know, whatever, it don't really matter. But I guess tomorrow I'll catch hopefully like 26, maybe. Um, try and get up into the top 10. But all I know is we're going to have to catch what we caught today to slowly keep moving up because if I don't match what I had today I feel like these guys are just going to keep catching them better every single day so ready to get after it hopefully we can catch a couple five pounders today I didn't catch any yesterday I don't know I just I think I caught every fish I caught was like four pounds twelve ounces I never had one bigger than that I even called like a 411. So hopefully today, catch a couple high fives, maybe catch a six, get up towards 26, maybe 27. Feeling good about it. It's going to be calm. We got a long day to get it done. So I'm going to fish the lake all day and uh, hopefully just get the right bites, is what it comes down to, and get them in the boat. Yesterday I had the uh, puking. Today it's coming out the other end. So, if I break 12 pounds, I'll be lucky. Uh, the only way I can catch 30 is if I can keep 10 fish, and that would still be a stretch, because I can't catch 10 fish. Um, I don't know. I'm just going to go find Jay and, and uh, get next to him and see if he'll let me catch his little four pounders that he throws back all the time. Yeah, yeah, just let me have a few four pounders. So. So what you're saying is don't eat the gas station food. Oh, well, there really ain't another choice. I just only place that takes a card, so uh, I had to eat at the gas station. And uh, I'll probably end up losing a lot of money in toilet paper, too. <laughs> had to buy a lot of toilet paper. Uh, I don't know. Just try to catch something better than 11 pounds, which is not hard to do, but for me it probably is. I, so I watched the, the Sabine thing uh, preview, and all those giants got me so jacked up. I'm ready to just go jerk on some man. Ready to go slack line? Yeah, something? I want to go slack line. The first smallmouth I hit, I'm gonna break my line. I know I am. <laughs> slack line on six pound test. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Here he is. Oh. Here he is. <laughs> you look like you just did you just get out from under the bridge? He grumpy. <laughs> Is he grumpy this morning? Yeah, he's kinda grumpy. No. Yeah, he was in a good mood. Jay was in bed for a little while. Nah, I thought he was you, on your, you on your bunk? Start your bunk this morning. Yeah. Jay was in bed for a while. I thought he was gonna throw up. Yeah. 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 <laughs> he woke up at fucking five. Yeah, I just ran when he woke up. Spicy diarrhea, or whatever that. Okay, wake up, I got, I got the spicy diarrhea. Official time right now is 6:57:30. We are two and a half minutes away from officially kicking off the final full field Friday of 2023. The quest to get into semifinal Saturday. The top 20 or the top 50 move on, and the top 10 fish on Championship Sunday. Here at the Minn Kota Bassmaster Elite on the St. Lawrence River.
uh, number three. <laughs> The ball just never got rolling and I never caught the five pounders that I needed, but tomorrow's going to be a new day. Hi to everyone that came out here today. Thanks for supporting me and hi to everyone back home. Always great to have you here before you leave anywhere. We won the Phoenix Colts Big Bass and co-winner actually, him and Mark Menendez, both heading two-way tie for Phoenix Colts Big Bass. I appreciate it. Yeah, I don't know man, I just couldn't get the, just couldn't get the right size today. I caught a lot, just a lot of three and a half. You guys fish out here a lot? No, we're from Montana. Oh, really? Yeah, right. I'll get Oh, I got you. Got you. Yeah, right. Yeah, I don't fish here a lot, but it's a good place. Yeah, last time was good, yeah. This time was still good, but yeah, you can't complain. Yeah. Well, guys, day two is a wrap. The boys. Caught him good enough to fish tomorrow, and it sounds like the weather is going to be just peachy, with as much sarcasm as you could probably put into that. But the boys both made a check; they're happy, I think, and they're ready to catch a big bag tomorrow. I guess 28 pounds is probably something realistic, so I hope they do it. As you can see, I'm getting ready for bed. I'm tired. Make sure you guys, if you don't already, get a weighted blanket. These things are clutch. You don't want to have one. That's really all I got. Peace. We're running 45 miles into the ocean. Coming back with 27 pounds. That's a good trade.
There's a four pounder. Might be like a seven pounder. We got him. We'll get him. Oh. <laughs> Look at the size of that bass. That's over six pounds, 100%. Great finish to another great season, but unfortunately not going to be part of uh, Championship Sunday. But uh, this is a special place, and now you got to hope that they don't they don't they don't go and beat your record tomorrow. Nah, that record's going to get beaten. There's no doubt. I mean, the guy sitting in the lead's got 80 pounds right now. He only needs 22 <laughs> pounds tomorrow. So, no, it's all good. I mean, this place is awesome. Thank you everybody for coming out. This is uh, this is pretty incredible. It's just as good as last year. Uh, thank you guys for coming out. Thanks for everybody for supporting me. You know, I just never caught the, the big ones this week. I never caught the six pounders, but I had one nice one today and I had a, had a nice bag. So, you know, it's just fun out there. I love catching smallmouth. I love doing this. I love fishing here. I love fishing in New York. I hope we come back next year and uh, yeah, ready for the off season. We love having you part of the Elite Series. Let's hear it for us. Good day. Blake got to ride shotgun. Film a couple big ones get caught. Had 23-3. It was a fun day. I mean, that's what I wanted to end on. I mean, it would have been nice to catch, you know, 26 or 27, but uh, did not get those bites in the boat. So, what do you do? Had one close to six pounds and some other nice ones. So, super fun day. Happy with the, how the year's gone. Happy with this tournament, honestly. You know, I wasn't on a ton in practice. We only had two days of practice, so... Uh, you know, what do you do with that? I mean, there's not really much you can do, especially when you try and fish the big lake and it's rough. So, uh, yeah, very happy with it and ready for the off season. And we'll be right back at it next year in February. I assume February. Some, uh, the schedule hasn't come out yet, so. Yep. Today is day four. Didn't make the top ten. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. I really... I don't know, I was just pretty dumb on day two and forced an area that wasn't happening and was scared to run out in the middle of the lake, which I probably should have done anyways, because it's what I did yesterday and caught 23 something, so yeah, a little upset at myself for doing that, but it's all right. I mean, it's been a good season. I haven't really had any any major screw-ups this year or anything crazy happen, so uh, very happy with it. But before we leave here, we got to do a little tour little tour of the, the St. Lawrence crib. So we stayed in, actually, so this place right here, oh, it's locked, but next door is the bed that I won in last year. Didn't stay in it this year. I don't know what I was thinking, honestly. Uh, yeah, I didn't stay in the winning bed, so I didn't win the tournament. I took like 24th. But anyways, this is the one side of the bedroom. Oh, that feels good, nice and we got the bathroom with the double doors where me and Alex stayed at over here. I mean, this is a nice, for the price, it's, I mean, I mean it's awesome, honestly. Uh, you know, I rocked these sheets this week, the pony sheets that Skylar got me. Was it Ricky supposed to take these? I'm pretty sure, but anyways. Yeah, so I'm just, I stayed here, Alex stayed here. Not sure how I got the big bed, but. Alex was a bigger person, so he probably should have got the big bed, but that's all right. He wasn't too mad. And yeah, that's about it. Honestly, it's pretty hot in here. Uh, it's got to be like 85, maybe more. The thermostat doesn't work. But yeah, and then come outside, you know, we got the rigs out there. It's still soaking wet. Uh, I haven't had a chance to dry it out, honestly. 
it's been it's been a long couple weeks she's been through the ringer but uh, it's got me through every day and yeah it's been a good boat this year the nitro's been been putting in some work and uh, got me through those big waves on the first day of the event so that was key but yeah ready to leave this place I'll stay here for one more day uh, do a little photo shoot on the water with Seagar and yeah after that we'll be headed home and then it's the off season do a little deer hunting fish a couple tournaments take some people fishing get things ready for next year get the new boat and yeah it's it'll be a busy off season i'm looking forward to it but uh ready for 2024 and big red will be back next year so that's awesome he requalified for the elite series which i was pretty stoked about so yeah I'm, I'm excited for next year, ready to get after it.